Okay, so about a year ago, I reviewed a case for the iPhone XS Max called the Kadabi Sheath, and I didn't recommend it at all. I said it didn't fit, it wobbled on the table uh, when it laid flat, and boy oh boy, did I get a slating in the comments section. There were people in there saying it was the best case ever for the iPhone, I didn't know what I was talking about. There were a couple of uh, people in there who actually said you must have had a faulty case because mine's fine. I even had other iTube reviewers give me an absolute slating about it. So I'm going to give them another chance, but this time I'm going to review the Kadabi sheath for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, if I'm wrong, I will eat my words, literally. So let's go. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this thing, open it up and see what we think of it, see if it's any better than the last one that I had. Now, like I say, I'm a man of my word and I will eat my words if I was wrong. So let's go in and take a closer look. Okay, so this thing comes in a really nice box. I don't know if you can see, it's a matte laminated box with a, with a gloss spot UV on there. It used to be a printer, so I'm gonna give them 10 out of 10 for that, it looks really nice minimalist perfection there in a, in a spot UV. Really nice. Okay, let's open this box up. Easy to get into there. And there is the case itself, which we can take out there. There's also uh, a little brochure from them there, which is nice, a little uh, pamphlet, leaflet. And uh, this is the actual case itself. Um, let's go in and take a look closer at this case. <music> Okay, so let's see how this thing fits on the case. Right, so we'll pop it in there, pop it in there. That goes in very, very easily, I have to say, and uh, fits around the lens there quite nicely. You have got a hole there for the uh, charger, for the USB, uh, sorry, it's not USB-C, is it? It's actually still a lightning connector, unfortunately. And here we've got speakers uh, either side, so cutouts for that. You've got a cutout there for the silencer and you've got uh, covered switches here for the volume rockers and also there for the power switch. They click quite nicely. They have actually got a nice, very nice click to them. This thing does not add a lot of bulk to it. I have to say it feels really, really thin. It doesn't feel really any thicker than the phone itself. I've been using the Apple um, leather case and it does feel a lot thinner than that I have to say. Um, it's got a little Kadabi logo there uh, and then just on the side here, don't know whether you can see that or not, it says Kadabi just there. Feels nice, it's got a lip around the edge there so you can put your phone face down without breaking the glass. Yeah that's really nice. Covered at the bottom here, uh, flicks up quite nicely. Yeah, that flicks up quite nicely. Face ID not working for some reason, I don't know why. Um, yeah, that flicks nicely. It feels, it does feel quite gel-like. Now this thing is drop tested, I believe, to nearly two meters. Um, so oh, I'm not gonna try that out. Um, and it's made from a gel-like material. It does feel quite grippy, so it doesn't slip out of your hand there. Now before I did say, it rocked on the uh, desk itself, so we're going to try this out because I thought this stuck out. It doesn't seem to stick out as much as the last one. So we'll pop that on the table and see, give it the rock test. And there is no rock <laughs> this time, um, which is strange. I must have had, uh, that, that was what I was bothered about on the last one on my iPhone XS Max. 
this doesn't rock absolutely perfect um, I'm actually liking this case I have to say it feels really really thin now Mac World uh, and uh, Mac using the Wall Street Journal say that this is the best phone uh, case for the iPhone and I'm gonna have to agree um, I must have had a faulty case because the last one did rock and that really bothered me it rocked really bad I'll put the link above this absolutely perfect it doesn't look like there's going to be any marks on it. it doesn't take any finger marks and I put and it is also compatible for wireless charging it's a, a really really nice case I have to say so uh, there you go that's the Kadabi sheath for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Okay, so there you have it, the Kadabi sheath for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now the big question is, would I recommend this case? I want to say no, because I don't want to eat my own words. However, it's absolutely perfect. It's a minimalist design. It's made from an excellent material that isn't going to pick up per finger marks. It's grippy, it doesn't add any bulk at all to the phone the buttons and rockers click absolutely superb really really nice click to them it it just feels really nice and i have to say i must have had a faulty case on the last one because uh, i didn't recommend it but this one i cannot recommend it highly enough wall street journal say it's one of the best cases so do mac user this is hands down the best case for the iphone 11 pro max i did say i would eat my words there's my words from last time. I'm going to eat these now. Uh, so um, remember, like, subscribe, and, uh, and I'll see you oh, in the next one. Goodbye. Oh. Thank you.